Hey everyone, my name is Wedge. As many of you know, this morning the new banned and restricted list announcement from Wizards was made. This happens the Monday after every pre-release and it basically attempts to fix broken formats. Anyways, today's announcement is huge. Both Modern and Vintage have been shaken up and I'm here to talk to you about all of it. Hope you enjoy the video and if you do, remember to hit that like button. It means a lot. We'll begin with Modern. Ayavugan is now banned in the format. Yup, the Eldrazi Menace is majorly weakened. Wizards of the Coast explained their thought process in banning the Eye instead of Eldrazi Temple. They said that Eye of Ugin being legal would lead players to build one iteration of Eldrazi, a deck that could take advantage of the cost reduction on the Eye, so basically a crap load of two mana cost Eldrazi and little else. They say that by leaving Eldrazi Temple legal, it allows for players to build multiple versions of Eldrazi decks and have them all be competitive. Something similar to the first versions of the deck we saw. Oblivion Sower, Wasteland Strangler, stuff like that. Temple lives because it leads to diversity and I dies because it doesn't. I of Ugin being banned is real upsetting to Tron players as well. Being able to search up giant colorless creatures was huge for them. Now the deck is still intact and it'll still function just fine. It is a bit of a hit though. That was the only ban in Modern. There were, however, two unbans. The first, Ancestral Vision. Yup, the infamous Suspend Ancestral Recall is legal and Modern. Wizards noticed that blue decks were, well, basically terrible since they had no draw spells. Control decks are practically non-existent in the format right now. Ancestral Vision is supposed to help slower control-based strategies deal with aggro and combo decks better. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm happy that we finally got a tier 1 draw spell in Modern because, you know, we don't really have one, but I don't think this is enough. Blue control decks still lack significant draw engines early game and really just anything to do at all. Of course, this next unban is also supposed to help slower control slash combo decks, so let's see what it is and then pray it helps. And Sword of the Meek is on ban. Boom goes the dynamite. This equipment alongside Thopter Foundry dominated Extended back in the day. Of course, that was also during a time where in the same deck you had Vampire, Hex, Mage, and Dark Depth, so never mind. Anyway, Sword of the Meek was unbanned because while the combo is effective and powerful, it is slow and not nearly as effective when the other half of that extended deck isn't in the format anymore, namely Depths and the Hex Mage. Sword of the Meek being unbanned is supposed to lead to more combo control decks in the format as well as provide an alternative win condition to Lantern Control, as if it needed it. I need to know what you all think about this Sword of the Meek unban. Now, I asked for a Sword unban months ago and an Ancestral Vision unban months ago, so feeling pretty good, but wow. Bringing back the Sword is an interesting choice. A few things to think about. First, this means there's definitely going to be more artifact hate in the format, so affinity players better get ready for that. Anyone who remembers playing against Sword of the Meek is going to pack more stony silence and ancient grudge than you've ever seen. Second, and this is something that just stays between us, okay? Seriously, don't tell anyone. Tezzerator is here. Tezzerate Agent of Bolus. Yeah, oh yeah. Get ready. This deck is coming in hot. Don't say I didn't warn you. Seriously though, Tezzerator, just beware. Modern wasn't the only format to get a bit of a shakeup this morning. Vintage was also targeted, specifically Mishra's workshop decks. Players have been complaining about the workshop for a long time and it's been getting worse recently. The deck is just too consistent and it messes up the entire Vintage metagame. Lodestone Golem has been restricted in hopes that this will create more interactive games with shops decks. Lodestone Golem is a nightmare card that is definitely anti-fun and straight up prevents magic from being played, especially since shops players can get it out consistently on turn 1. Just unfair. This is a welcome ban for most players in the format, definitely a breath of fresh air. Now there are going to be players who say that Wizards isn't going far enough. Well guess what? This is the first time in 20 years that Wizards has restricted a creature in Vintage, so just be happy, okay? So ungrateful. There was some big news here about Modern and Vintage. Let me know in the comments about how you feel about all these bands. What do you think? Are you more likely to play Modern now, less likely? Anything you think, leave it below and we'll talk about it. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Mana Source. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This video is brought to you in part by TCGPlayer.com. The updated ban list is going to change modern for sure. Time to get some staples. Right now, Thopter Foundry is still around a dollar each, but that probably won't stay the same for long. Gear copies now if you want to play the sweet, beautiful, wonderful combo in modern. 
Not your speed, no problem. Now that Eye of Ugin has been banned in Modern, the price has tanked. If you need copies for your cube, commander deck, or anything else, you can get them right now. $12. How the mighty have fallen. Click the links, buy some cards, support the channel, everyone's happy.